comedy change your life? Absolutely. It's given me more confidence. I use, you know, people think that comedians are all extroverts, but I am through and through an introvert. I am naturally the one in the room that's in the corner that just, let's get this over with. Nobody talk to me, nobody look to me. And this has made me not be that person. Like I go in and I'm proud to be who I am, where I'm at. And yeah. I think what I have to say has value because people have paid to come see me. Right. So it must be yeah. true. And you? It has. Uh, comedy has, I want to say, okay, maybe not comedy, but so starting comedy has led to me now producing and promoting my own shows. That has, can I say fucked? Mm -hmm. It's maybe swearing will help. Has Being, yeah, you. has fucked with my mental psyche. And you're saying this process of producing shows and promoting them has expose that to yourself like yeah. you see i see it more now because now cindy ann is responsible for what happens to cindy ann right. as opposed to all my life i've always ever been i've been um, involved in administration i took care of everyone else but the result didn't directly affect me if that makes sense yeah. and, and so, it, it probably causes you to be more defensive and get offended because it is about you it is personal yeah so when any time in the past that i've said well maybe that's not about you or maybe it's not personal i'm wrong because it is it this is. is your brand this is your yeah. name this is your livelihood yeah. so it is different it is it is different so, yeah. but interesting that you brought up being offended what I'm do you think about offended. comedy being politically correct good topic ah this is one of my favorite things to talk about because i am of the opinion that there is nothing that you cannot talk about in comedy i think it's ridiculous when people say you can't joke about rape you can't joke about the holocaust you can't joke about slavery now can, is it true that you can make a joke and people can get offended and decide not to come to your show? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what art is. Yes. But to tell an artist that there are certain things that they cannot paint is ridiculous. Right. A lot of people are making commentary jokes about something. No, For example, no one is saying, isn't it funny to rape people? Ha ha. Right. Yeah. And that's how a lot of people are acting. Exactly. It's, and they don't even take the time to think, okay, what is this person actually saying? Yeah. They just hear rape. And they're like, cancel them. Can't, yes. And that's just crazy. Now, there are comedians that I've seen and I don't particularly like what they're talking about. And you know what I do? I don't go to see them. Correct. Here's my thing. We all have thoughts that we, we're not proud of. Absolutely. That we do not share. Of course. Which is fine. I don't need to know what you're thinking all the time. I, <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't know sometimes what I <laughs> I don't want to know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> And, and two, I think that for me, it's always been like, can you imagine if we were to censor comedy and say, you can only make jokes about things that we all agree are not offensive. We'll never no, have anything. Yeah. yeah. Don't joke about your mom. Well, my mom died, so you shouldn't be able to joke about that. Yeah. Well, don't joke about, you know, cutting the, the lawn because I saw something happen in the grass one time and now I'm traumatized. Like, there's always going to be something, something and someone. that some group says that's offensive. Yeah. And so, I don't even think there's anything wrong with being offended. But just, if you're offended, don't go see that. Yeah. Don't make it yeah. And that's the end of it. And that's the end of it. <laughs> Not everyone shops at Macy's. Right. Not everyone, you know what I mean? So choose what you want. Can you imagine like? if Macy's had a dress and you didn't like that dress, so you stood outside and said, don't come to Macy's? Right. <laughs> that's what it's like. That's what it's like. You don't yeah. like it, don't go over don't there. Don't buy it. That's the end. Don't wear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so when I look at specials, I remember Amy Schumer. She had a special this year called Growing Something. Right. And it's actually the first special of hers that I have looked at in its entirety. Like I've looked at it even more than once because I've really enjoyed it. This is a recent one you're saying? Yeah, 2019. It wasn't my favorite, but I liked that she was not the same as in all of her other specials like uh, Aziz. You like that she wasn't so raunchy because now she's... No, she was just different. And she, okay. so it was a different... From, it was an opportunity for me to see a different side of her. I can't recall it. 
But Aziz, you brought up. Yeah, different. It was very different, but you know, it seemed like he was on an, a pseudo apology tour. And you know when someone stylistically is trying too hard? That's what it seemed like to me. Yeah. Like he wanted to be uh, intimate and have the closer and have a t-shirt as opposed to his so, suit. He's, he's and he just wanted out. to do very different, but it didn't ring true to me. It didn't seem authentic. But I appreciated the the chance, the risk that he took I to do something different. That's true. That's what it is, because we all take chances, because we don't know. We yeah. don't know what people are going to eventually latch on to. That's true. But when you talk about risks and what you said is a good point about evolving and who knows what is what. Did you, this is an older special, but Hannah something, the, the white lady who's, who's a lesbian who talks about not doing comedy anymore and that's her comedy special well the reason i'm bringing it up is because i i like her and i and i appreciated what she was doing but i felt at the time and i wonder if i feel differently now that it wasn't a comedy special and then what you're saying makes sense when did we decide what comedy was yeah so if a comedian is telling you what they have struggled with and what their experience is with something and there are jokes in there and it has the format of comedy is that comedy yeah like, it's a risk. Yeah. Mike B B Biglia took a huge risk. You took a risk trying to say his name. His name. <laughs> <laughs> to me, what he did was so was so risky, so different. I mean, the entire thing where all the toys and stuff fell from the ceiling. Yeah. It was so different. Yeah. And and that to me is memorable. And 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 I'm wondering if maybe that's what makes. Makes you stand out, yeah. makes it different, I think and that is take, what makes take, the taking breaks. a risk. Yeah. The ones who see the format, and they're like, okay, but this is my approach to it. Yeah. And this is what I see, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. Even though it's not how people do things. And, and sometimes was, it works, yeah. and sometimes it probably just doesn't. But again, how will you know? Right. I have realized, because now I joke a lot more about my life. And people connect to you so much more when you say stuff, like I said, that they think, yeah. that they feel, but one, they're afraid to say it because they don't want to be judged. Right. They don't want to seem. It's not the polite thing to say. It's not polite. But that's what we're supposed to do, that's actually. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed yeah. to give voice to the things that yeah. other people are afraid to yeah. say. I want us to kind of wrap up. If you were to recommend a special for someone to look at, what would you recommend? Which one? Give people five to look at. Let's you got to see Robiglia, Wanda Sykes, uh, Bergotsky, if you had one last year. Yeah, Tennessee Kid. All three of the year. Chappelle's. I'm still saying there were three. Okay, okay. So you're thinking Dave Chappelle, Mike Birbiglia, Nate Bergotsky, Wanda Sykes. Did Madigan come up for the one? Madigan was like, I think, 2016, but still good for people yeah. who don't, wouldn't go back, you know? Who would you say? I would do Nate, Kathleen, Lynn, um, Babiglia too. Babiglia. And um, go to the Generates. The Degenerates. Yes. Adrian. She's so no, no, funny. So From good. From the beginning to the so end. Good. And if you have never, ever seen Patrice O'Neill, he has one special that I know of. And if there are any others, please tell me. I think he has only ever done one, Elephant in the Room. Have you seen it? Of course. Patrice O'Neill, Elephant in the Room. There was an island guy, or was he... Did you and I watch it together? And he was singing songs, and like a lot of it was funny, and then some of it wasn't. Black a British guy, guy. British. But he was also island too, which is a lot the of... The island time. guy that we both like, um, Bill Burr produced his special. What was his name? He I was so good. Special, I think. We enjoyed some of it. What's he's, his name? He's Jamaican. Oh, what's he's Jamaican. I am not going to recommend that. It's so weird. I mean, my God. Can we just recommend things that we know? Just names Google that we know. comedy. <laughs> and then when you get a name, call us and we say yay or nay. So we've given them like seven to look at? Yeah, probably. And get back yeah. to us. Tell us yeah. what you think. What what? Figure out who we're talking about and then Google them and watch their special. But those that we gave you, <laughs> we gave you the names. We did. And so we gave you 
Dave Chappelle, Six and Stones. Right. Nate Bagazzi, Tennessee Kid. Mike Bobbio. That's the name of it. I mean, just Google it. 2019. Um, Patrice O'Neill, Elephant in the Room. Kathleen Madigan. Kathleen so Madigan. Good. So good. Wanda Sykes, we said. Wanda not Sykes, normal. not normal. I think for the technique, my favorite right now. Well, first it's always going to be Chappelle and Chris Rock is my favorite for my inspiration. But technique-wise, writing-wise, John Mulaney. I know oh, yes. He's just so Such a good smart writer. and smooth yeah. and able to do uh, controversial topics in such a clever way so without you making you feel, feel yeah right. he's good he's good he writes yeah he writes. definitely he definitely writes and you appreciate that when yeah. someone comes and they're dressed for work and they've worked on what they're doing yeah. and you yeah. appreciate that yeah as an audience member so this was good i hope yeah. you guys we dressed up for work too. we dress yeah we do yes. we dress up so, for work and so nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed recommended dosage. This recommended was the, dosage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your dose of what dose is it? Did we give them like specials? Did we give them is like a teaspoon? This uh, was a tablespoon. Uh, not a cup. No. It was like a tablespoon. A tablespoon. But a teaspoon is small. I think this was a cup. You think this was a cup? Like it was maybe a lot. two cups. It was a lot. Yeah. Can we do? Is this liquid form? What do you call this thing with the drops, like that under mm -hmm. your tongue, sublingual? What do you call this mach this thing? Let's call the it drop a special part? that. What do you call this thing? <laughs> <laughs> what that do you was call really this good. thing? There, you've been searching for a special. That was so good. That was so good. What do you good. call it? What do you call this thing? What can do you, you imagine? call this thing? Can you imagine everyone trying to ask for it? Yeah. And it's like a who's on first joke. Yeah. I need to get that special with the comedian. What is it called? What do you, you call, call this thing? thing? Yes, I'm you asking you. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs>